Hi guys and welcome back. We're here with part five of our Imperator Rome Macedon campaign, and we are take we are still fighting the Paeonian, uh, well people. They were the Paeonian revolt, but they are now just Paeonia. We um in the last episode, if you haven't checked that out, I'll go and check out that one first before you watch this one. Um, they um took the Paeonian revolt, took the loyalists out. I decided to break my tribal vassal with them to expand up here into the north and then to uh, yeah just to take them out and then I may go for Mosea after that I may I'm not sure some of these small tribes are quite easy looking good for the right for picking and then we'll go eastwards to Thrace and Odrysia while also mopping up the rest of the Greek states down here which should take no time at all what have we got here we've got starving population in Troisia okay you're starving you're no, not even near the war, so I'm not quite sure why that's going on. Um, but the plan is to send you in here, I'm going to also send you in here. And we will kill this huge army. And we've also got some people that aren't happy because they are um, not within office. So we're about to win that. Excellent. We shall send the six Stratos back here. And you can go also up here. Oh, Trophius. Can we do we have a zone? Yes, we do. There you go. Happy now. Oh, you're a different. Oh, you're a different Zenonid. Oh well, I've got to give it to the people that are rightfully should have it. This is the capital of Pannonia. Ah, well, we'll go and take that then. Um, and then you go up here. Egypt wants to trade in something. Interesting. Well, I'll say yes. We're losing manpower, so after this war we are going to have to have a bit of a... Well, not a truce, but just like a halt on the whole invasion of places. And we've also got disloyal characters. So we've got you, Alexander Antropid, who was my... Uh, he was a... Admiral that I got rid of because he was just being a problem. And we've also got you, who is just. I got a problem with both of you, so I'm just going to let you both die and die in horrible ways if needs be. Actually, you go down there and deal with that because that's quite a large army. Quite a large army. But yeah, anyway, guys, I hope you're enjoying your uh, weekend. I am recording this before, uh, since I am away at the weekend, so I just thought I'd do this for you, because I'm a kind person, I'm also, I'm really enjoying this uh, this playthrough, so I hope if you are as well, then please like and subscribe, really is appreciated for the support, you go down here please and kill them off, and we're trading with Bruce, yeah. and we're trading with Crete as well, and Crete's been united. Well, that's just going to make it easier f for me to take it. I mean, it probably isn't, but hey, I've got to say. Xenonids, okay. So, oh, they, they, they don't like me, so I'll give that to him. He he should like me for that. Um, Why? Okay, a few other places are now starving, but it's not the be-all and end-all. A few places can starve out here and there. They'll survive. But I will spend money on growth and manpower. Uh, support Macedonian interests. I'm going to support Macedonian interests in this. There we go. That's that's enough money spent. So you go there. Where are you going? Oh, you're also going there. Right, you go up there then. You go siege up that. I'll see what we can get for a peace treaty now. Not much. Okay. Look at that. I'd rather just take all the Pannonia. I don't really want them to survive. Not being harsh or anything, but they just they need to die. And then after that we're going to probably concentrate we'll probably put armies back in the south and get ready to go there. I'll probably put my largely a large legion. I've been playing too much of my Rome game. Calling them legions now. We are legion. And orcs apparently. 
So we're now saying Lord of the Rings uh, things. Okay, so the Seleucids in Egypt were still back Thrace in a war. That is a bit of a problem. Athens is possibly the one I want to go after, but they're being backed by Phrygia. I'd like to just take Athens so I can get this at uh, the port of Lemnos and kind of just use that as a boost off point to go for places like Aeolia and Ionia. I might do that soon. Um, you're still not liking me enough. If I send you a gift, does that improve? Just a little bit, but not not enough. Enough. Um, okay, you go in there then. Um, you go back down here. And kill this arm, this small army off. Great campaigns. Um, many systems. Da, da, da. I'm gonna go with civic power. So I want. Oh, it's not here. Ah, uh, it must be under again. Monthly tyranny, tribute income. I'm just gonna go with ma the national manpower. I possibly should have gone with military because it's taking a while to get to the next one. But hey. Okay, so army and maintenance costs gone up, and army tradition has come down. So it's actually gonna cost a lot less now for this tradition. And you can just keep chasing that small army. You, okay, so someone, Mosea is coming in from the north and dealing with, oh, stop this. I want to take these lands. Okay, we've taken that. Actually, no, you need to stay there. Peace is imminent. Um, what would we get now for 99? We'd get all this. We wouldn't get that city, though. So we'll wait. There we go, excellent. Right, now you can go in. Oh no, you can't. Lack of access. Oh, this is actually Mosea. Oh. Oh, so actually Pioneer is all ours. Excellent. Excellent. Right, we'll do that and we'll get all the money. 90. Uh, popularity, we're good. So we'll bring down aggressive expansion. Um, okay. I don't know what. I think that's the first time ever I've seen that come up. Um, so you can go down here, you're the big old army we have, so you go there, and you go, like, here. Okay, then we'll just let it go along. Why are you still starving? I'm gonna put a granary here, because if I- oh, I can't. Oh, that's- that's a shame. Um, noble birth. He's head of the general loyalty. I'd rather bring your loyalty up. I'll take the legitimacy hit. I'm pretty sure I can improve my legitimacy. Increase, yeah, increase legitimacy for not much. But I'm okay with that. Um, National tax or manpower? Manpower or national tax? I'm gonna go with manpower. Oh, I've got dementia, no. Oh, and you're... I'm going to demand that you support the heir. Because that's... You're very young to then just be insolent for the rest of the game. Thank you. Thank you. Now you support my heir. That's what we want to hear. Right, so money, we're doing okay. I could probably... Boost the amount of ships in the navy, which is what I'd like to do. So we'll build another five. Get that up to a nice round twenty. Um It's who to take out in Greece next? Probably you, Aetolia. You only have one ally, Azania. A fourteen yeah, I'll probably go for you next. Caviar, are you uh oh, you're fairly well defended. I mean only by I don't know actually, who are you defended by? Not really wanting to go for much further north, but I'm just interested to see. Army steer, oh, okay, so those two, which are a little way off. Inventions again, finally, right. I'm going to go down this one, I'm going to bring, Munch the Tyranny is not actually up, Omen Power, Tribute Income, Assassinate Cost, or National Tax, I will go with, mm, um, I'll bring tribute income, and then there we go. Improve opinion maximum. 
That's the one I want. Um, we can't spend any money on converting stuff because it's far too high. Far too high. You're still starving. This is ridiculous. Pay off the families? Oh dear. Have him flogged? Oh, he's... What are you? Which one is it? Who is it? Panchuchuas. It's neither of these people. Um... I'll have him flogged. Oh, because it was someone else, that's why. Olympic Games. Okay. Well, I'm gonna send you, because you're pretty damn awful. No, you cannot have any military access, whoever you are. And also, these, guy, these guys would be a fairly good option as well. And there we go, we've got... Okay. Oh, so my, my general has just died, that I was hoping was going to die. I'm going to take Aetolia. Aetolia seems like the one to go for, and now it can be Xenonids. So they should be happy now. And no, you can stay here. Oh, it's automated. Brilliant. You're not loyal enough. Brilliant. I will have to wait. Excellent. That is the only problem. I should have looked at his loyalty. I uh, better look next time. That was a Seleucid, wasn't that? Wow. Um. Okay, so you're actually... <laughs> you know what? I'm going to take you out of the army. I can't do this because it's disloyal. Barbarians have risen up. Oh, well, I'll let him go and deal with the barbarians. That's good of him. Bribe. We still need another six. Now we have two different disloyal um, armies. And we have, like, no manpower. Wow, we are going to have a, a bit of peace for a while. Um, but yeah, now we can bribe him. We can bribe. Yeah, but yeah, you can keep going up there. I, I'm not, I'm not bothered with that. Yep, yeah, you can spend money. Is his loyalty going down? No, it's actually going up. Good. I probably could have waited, and I would have been able to automate it anyway. And we have rebels. I haven't got a rebellion, so these must be someone else's rebels. Excellent. And yet, yeah, like, everywhere's just starving up here because reasons. Um, you can go over there. Um, yeah, I'm going to do that. Oh, are you kidding me? If he go keeps going around every single settlement and damaging, like, my population, I'm going to be pissed. Keep moving on. We've got him on this one. Here we go, go in. Um, I won't give in to their demands. And um, we lost money, so we're actually in debt now. Excellent. So they did actually disappear. We could have paid them off the first time. That would have been fine. There we go, we've got enough money now to keep us going. 2,000 manpower. Um, we shall go back down to here. Yeah, Aetolia's actually becoming quite a strength. So is Messenia. Messenia's actually taken out its only ally. Okay, now they've allied up with a lot of other people. Um, okay. Well, this just means we can take them out a lot quicker. Um, just give them the job. Um, he becomes the Hitrapan. Yeah, sure. I'm not quite sure what the Hitrapan does. A uh, Hitchpan is actually this guy. Oh, I should have actually not given him a job because, like, he is not that good. But oh well. We did it now. You're still starving. Right. Can we build a granary? <laughs> no. No, we cannot. Um, this could be useful. Yeah, go for it. Are you now? Yes, we can now start integration. Excellent. Finally, we can do it. We're not actually going to need to go down that technology 
thing now. I'll probably go for tax. Or something else, like manpower. But we're gonna get Uboa now. Excellent. Which will be just what we need to... Well, we don't need it, but it'll be nice to have. Nice to have. Nice to own. Anyway, what else is going on in the world while we wait? Not much, I will admit. Egypt's still looking pretty big, still not really expanded. The... Oh, good. That's less uh, unrest and more population. And... Uh, <laughs> he took that office and died a few a few days later. Oh, dear. But yeah, no one else is really too big. And someone else has died. Yes, my um, pretender has died. Excellent. That's what we needed. I sounded far too pleased that he died. But I am very happy. Anyway, we will now wait a few more months. Let this manpower get up to about, I don't know, 20 odd thousand. And then we'll go in and take out the Greeks. The Greeks city-states don't have enough manpower to beat me. 9,000 here. A thousand, but I'm sure Aetolia has more land. <clears throat> and then, uh, who, uh, who else was it? Ellis, I think, we'd have to go to war with if we, um... I don't know, that is Ellis. Who are we going to war with if we also... Arcania, hmm. Arcania is 6,000, we should be okay. Ah, nectar of the gods is water. Keeps my throat nice and clear. I don't know. I'm saying rubbish now. I've probably gone delirious. Anyway, let's have a look. Still no Thrace is still being protected. Oh, that's probably how Thrace is staying in this war. Though, Egypt and the Seleucids are a long way from Thrace. Egypt's quite near and could strike, but it's still a long way for it to come for no reason. 22,000. I've also thrown some pretty sure we'll still be having an alliance. Yeah, sure. Oh, no, actually, they wouldn't now. No, they wouldn't now. And weren't you their puppet at one point? Pardon her. I'll pardon her. I'll. Because I'll get some more. Um, yes, you're still a tribal vassal. Do you like help in no way? Yeah, Athens, you can have trade for now. I don't plan on going for you first. You're probably last on my list. Don't know why. I mean, actually, I say that. Oh, does Phrygia own this as well? You're kidding me. And Phrygia owns all this? Oh, Phrygia taking Naxos out. Aww. Sad. Um... You are also a feudal archery of Phrygia. Okay. You're not, though. You are, like, your own thing. We need to break up Phrygia more, and I'm not quite sure how, I will, how I'm going to do it, but I will. Okay, that guy died as well at a very young age. Interesting. Um, I'll give it to this Karsid. Make the Karsid family like me still. Um... Promise the Hellas increases. I'm going to keep it because my money could always do with being up. And they're pretty loyal. Is um, Yeah. And this is Laconia. It's not even like the same region. Hellas, yeah. They like me a lot. But Laconia is going up as well. Yeah, this is what we like to see. Okay. Succession crisis. Oh, okay. Cassandra. Like, okay, so I died... We have a new king, unmarried ruler. Arranged marriage um, for someone a lot younger than that. I'm sorry, that's really mean. 44, we need someone really young. Not really young, that sounds really, that sounds creepy. Um, can I do age? Can I do age? So by loyalty, health, a age, there we go. Let's put age at the top or? Yeah, it's putting it at the top, okay, so youngest. How old are you now? 42! Jeez! Are you... F we may have a succession crisis. Um, we need one that, like... Has a good chance in... Um, producing kids. If that's even a thing. I'm not quite sure. Guileless. 
I think I'm going to go with this one. There. Go with that. Um, the first stratus can now be commanded by Cassander, Antropid. Um, and then the who else still hates me? Proctids hate me, so that's good. You can have that. Who is heir to the throne? It's actually is you, Antipater, and then after that it's these guys. Oh god. We could lose. <laughs> Brilliant. Um I'm gonna demand you support the air. I'm not actually quite sure who the air is. Um, actually no, yeah, there's no point demanding them to support the heir when it's going to be a completely different... Hopefully we have a kid, so we should have an heir. I pray. I can pray to the gods that we do. Jeez, I did not realise you were so young. I mean, so old. I don't actually know how old your dad was when he died. How old were you? You died like a year ago, so... 70. Oh, we might be okay. That's enough time to have a kid. 30 years. If he doesn't go and die in combat somewhere, which I am going to try and keep him out. These two armies should be enough to do the damage. I will bring the fleet around here. Because we're getting up to 20,000 again. So I give it like another 5,000 and we should be okay. Should be okay to go in. Um, did I do national tax? I might have. Siege engineers, monthly general loyalty. I'll do monthly general loyalty, I think. Helps with uh, lots of things. Who are you? Oh, okay. So you just took out a load of their land. You have no allies now. Oh, if I could get there, then I could take all your land. That'd be nice. But, strangely, you're still allied. But you're not. Interesting. Oh, I actually can go to war with you anyway. I'll do that. War it is. You're on your own, so I can just go to war. Who's this with? Oh, the Aetolian Revolt. Okay. Interesting. Just go and land on... Can I ask for access, military access, through your lands? No, you wouldn't give them because of reasons. So this is also controlled by the Aetolian A Revolt. This is not though. Okay, so this is just, a, this is, I thought they just took all their land, but no, they hadn't. They just, <laughs> it was just the Aetolian Revolt. Disloyal characters, you're becoming disloyal and your primary heir. I'm going to reward our vet. Mm. Hmm. I'll bribe him. Because he's now automated. I've just realised this. This is annoying. Where is your army? It's been put up here and you've grown it. You idiot. Um... Um, I am going to reward the veterans then. You're not even a good commander. This is not possible because it's, he's not a loyal one. Um, yeah, we'll take the... Interesting. Interesting. Um, you're a lot better. I think we've just wasted a war. Hey, yes. Thank God. Right, now support my heir. You're going to die, so I don't know why I'm bothering with you. You're not, though. You're not dying anytime soon, probably. Can I, super peace, take some land? I can. Sweet. I'll take that land for free. And I'll just take, like, all your money. There we go. We're just taking a bit more land. Excellent. Right, um, you go into Corinth. Um, you, I would like to... Uh, I want to change... 
Are your, is your loyalty going up? It is actually going up. Your, it's because you're still a pretender. I need to get rid of my goddamn pretenders as my um, generals and just everything because it's really annoying. He's actually just risen up and built built an army, I just realized. He has... That's just his own army. Rude man. I thought that was he took an army. I, I wasted a bit of money, really, on like just rewarding his veterans. I thought he had his own army. Oh, well. Um... I could improve relations with you. I probably should actually, yeah, go through and do some of the um, things like this. Military ideas. But it'll cost a bit. Cost a little bit, but hey. Um, morale of armies. Try me in cost. I'll do morale ideas. Spend some money on some stuff. Well, not money, but hey. We know what we're on about. Declare war. You just can show superiority. I don't think I have any cast spell eyes in anyone, do I? No. That's a shame. Oh, actually, we do on you, don't we? Messenia and um, we'll do this first, though. Hamarcos or you? You're the rival of the governor, and you're the head of the Carsids. How old are you? 66, 51, loyalty. I'm gonna send Cassandros. Researcher, that leaves him out. Puts a diet in, it's not great. Um, I want, yeah, none of you are really that great and I don't know if I want. Actually, you're the commander of the, the fleet. I probably should want you to demand loyalty to the air. Oh well, we'll decide on that later. Um, war score cost, enact things, tribesmen, research points. I'm gonna go with oh omen power. That'll increase it. Yeah, do that. We want even better omens. So that's now th like thirty odd thousand more. Um, we could declare war on it's Aetolia. I'm pretty sure. Okay. Yep. Sure, go for it. Let's do this. Um, gold. Aetolia gains... Um, don't know why I should... Why I should do that. I've just gone to war with them. I'm not really going to spend any money on uh, what they want. Don't really care about what they have to say. If I'm honest, um, I'm gonna bring this fleet around here just to like threaten them a bit more. Um, also, you could you just die? I I really just don't care. You're not not the right person to die. Cassandra Carsid, yep, yeah, you're actually really really good. I would rather transfer you to a different army. <laughs> Can I just like take my land back? Thanks. So this could actually end up being a war against, um, actually I don't know, they, they, they're there. It's going to be against a lot of people that I'm... It's going to be against Mycenae and Arcania in the end because even though Arcania's been taken up by the Aetolian a revolt and you're still automated and I can't, I would, eh, don't know if I want to do that. I'm not that bothered. He's gonna die. His legion, uh, his legion, his uh, army dies with him. I keep saying legion, and it's so annoying. It's annoying me. Um, you're gonna die. We can just all see it. We can all see it's gonna happen. I'm going to. Um, no, you stay there. Actually, go there. Actually, yeah, go, 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 go. Take that. Um, no, Aetolian Revolt, you can't have military access because I don't want you to come and get the rest of this land. Automated Legion, uh, army, whatever, just do what you want. I don't care. I'm going to say that all day. I can just say it. See it. Right, omens, we want. 
money because it's a bit income is not the greatest but since this huge army has appeared no wonder it's not that great because I'm going to pay for an army I can't control okay now succession we've got too many ch children two is too, too many he'll be a pretender he's actually okay he's not great But we can we can live with that. I'd rather have two than one. The other one just has to keep quiet, and we just keep him stum. Put him in a put him in a quiet corner. Just tell him everything that's going to be okay. I thought I took Sparta, but clearly not. Sparta was already lost to Messenia. It's a bit of a joke. Um, it's twenty one. We nearly got that. It's Fridgey at war. It is. It's at war with Egypt. I might be wanting to go to war with Thrace soon. I might get a Castus Belli going. Unless I already have one. No, I don't. Oh, and they are allied with someone else. Who are they allied with? Oh, some guy up there. Oh, these people. Oh, okay. Quite a large nation. And Thrace has actually taken out quite a lot of land. Interesting. Well, I think we can beat Thrace quite easily. They are no match. Invention, we are going to do... Um, brew the popularity gain, because that can always help. And then we'll go down military, I think, next. And I'd like to... Oh no, we don't have any monthly... We don't have any uh, religious power, so I would have liked to put it on stability. But we might get an event that allows us to save stability. Um, I'll spend a little bit of money on a writer for something or other. Over. Troubling... He's an orator and he gains promise. Okay. And he gains from prominence from just being an orator. Okay. Well, that's fine. Let him gain some oratory. Are these all feudatories of Phrygia? They are. Jeez. So if I declared war on Phrygia, you probably bring in like a lot of people, but they. Actually, you don't bring in the. Aeolius. Okay, actually, you bring in the people that I was thinking you would bring in. But hey, I'm not that bothered. Okay, another Antropid died. And his legion is still around. His army's still around. Excellent. Not what I wanted, but... I'll have to take it. Um, you can swap out for him. And you can become... Oh, can we not? That's annoying. I want to do this. You're kidding me. Um, oh, that's annoying. I wanted to put in um, that nine, that nine general. Oh well. Um, can you go down here? You're going in here by the looks of it. Well, I'm going to let you. I oh, know you're going that way. Annoying. Dacian War Bast die. Okay, so it's happened here. I also don't know if I really want this army. This th I'm also changing the name. Oh no, we need the third Stratos. I thought my OCD was going to kick in and we're like, oh, can't have the third Stratos. Not possible. Well, we've already got two of them, but we don't. Um, I'd like. I don't know why you're doing that. Right, sue for peace. Demand Nessanian Arcania. Why can we not demand the rest? Here we go. Oh, we can't. What? Very strange. We'll keep the war going a little bit longer. See if we can just like knock out this army. 
Oh, Petraea has also been taken by the uh, by this revolt, which is annoying, to say the least. It's now just yeah. You just land there. We should win that. Right now, can I put in this really good general? No, he's he's gone and died somewhere else, like a governor. Um, Carl says, I've got a good general now. Um, Zenonids, you need someone. Oh, he's not eligible, but he's a he's, okay. So citizen. No, that's ca characters. Oh no, that was right. Show characters. Thank you. Um, show by Marshall. You. Grand citizenship. Excellent. You're now a citizen. Congrats. You can now be this really good general. And we will send you north to Amphipolis. Which will give you no problem whatsoever. Actually, we can't actually get you there. Um, I'm sorry. We will build... Five more ships in your honor. There you go. Five more ships in your honor. Not 72. Come on now. Oh, you're kidding me. This is broken. If anything's been broken in my entire life. Right. What's he asking for? Epic struggle. We'll send the... Ro he, he can go. It's a kid. There we go. I want... I can't force them out just because of that. I need to do it like this. And then I can ask for these two. But I can't ask for anything else. Which is very strange. But I'm going to... I'll do it. Because this is just being a, a problem. And I'm not liking it. Um, I'm going to just make it. They'll remain unharmed. I don't really want to damage it. Okay, so someone else has died. Six Stratos needs another... Army. So they get a zero. Unless we bring in you because you're. Are you not a citizen as well? So that's a plot chain. <laughs> yeah, sure, we'll do that. Right, can we look at characters again? Are any of these also potentially not? There it is. You? I'll grant you citizenship, and now you can be in command of this this army, because I need it. I need it. It's part of me. Right, there you go. You get back across like that. And then you can defend Greece. And then we get ready for Thrace. Because we still, oh, we now have finally have enough money or things to go for the group. This will end the plot. Oh, I don't really know what we gain from that. Um, um, well, we'll take Redop. Redop! And then we will start our war with Thrace very, very soon. Right, you go north. Um, no. Oh, we're in a. Are we in a alliance now with these guys? I'm not quite sure. I'm really not quite sure. Basic training, supply lines. One of these is the next one. I don't know. We'll go for engineers. We want better engineers. No, and then we need trade routes. We have no power because we spent it all. So if I had declared war on Phrygia, I wouldn't bring in all those people. Oh, I would. Okay, so... Huh. Is it possible? I might need to go over to, like, um, Egypt quickly. They're in a war, big war against Phrygia. I need to see whether I can ask you to... Break an alliance. Oh, sell a city. Oh, I can sell embassy. No. Relations, sending it. Mm, okay. 
What are you? Are they a... What type of monarchy are they? An aristocratic monarchy. Oh, same as us then. Um... Hmm. I'd like to go to war with Thrace next. But everyone would join them. Which is annoying. Let's trade anyway while we wait. What have we got a... Um... We could do anything really. Do a bit of anything. Popularity. Yeah. Just do that. And... Precious metals? Um, could do. Yeah, we'll do precious metals, because why not? Up for Egypt. Oh, of course it's from Egypt. My reliance on Egypt is even stronger. Um, we still can't declare war on you. Things. I don't really need Egypt in my alliance. Or the Seleucids, so if I might declare war on Thrace and just get them out of the way. But anyway, guys, you'll have to let me know in the next episode wh what you want me to do and uh, whether you want me to take out uh, Thrace and go to war with Egypt and the Seleucids as well, or keep hammering away at uh, Greece and maybe go to war with Phrygia and go eastwards that way without with skipping out Thrace. Um, let me know in the comments what you want me to do. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. And until next time, bye for now.